I'm wrong. I don't think I'm wrong. And if I'm wrong, I want Keith Lee to tell me. So for the mom to go on the back end and disregard where my heart was at and what I felt like God was telling me to do in that moment and distribute the money how she felt necessary is 100% wrong in my opinion. Oh man, so Keith Lee has responded to the craziness going on in Dallas and um, despite the owner of the full truck Sweetly Season and her son trying to gaslight that, that, that young lady, her brother and millions of people, Keith says that she's 100% wrong and he does not appreciate how the lady's son tried to misconstrue his words. Shut this out right here. To be honest, there's not much to talk about, but there are a few conflated and confused things that's going around about the situation. So let's talk about them. Three days ago, me and my family went to Sweetly Season Food Truck. Number one, nobody had any idea we was coming. They found out we was in Dallas like everybody else found out we was in Dallas because we was posting videos in Dallas. So in hopes of us coming, they had t-shirts made and they was on live all day. So me and my family went in cahoots with none of this. We was all under the impression that they were a team and this was a normal routine for them. The barber being there, the braider being there, family being there, a lot of people being there. This is our first time here. We are customers. We have no idea what's going on behind the scenes. Number two, I was never under the impression that haircuts was free. Again, my family was watching the lives. We knew that he was cutting hair for $40. So when we walked up and I said, I want to get $1,000 to the barber to do free haircuts and $1,000 to the braider to braid hair, it was because in the original video, the son said it was slow due to marketing. That's marketing. God willingly, after we post the video, there will be a line out the door. If there's a line out the door and there's a barber and a braider doing hair while people are waiting, that's marketing. So again, it's in a hood. You play some music, you cutting hair, you braiding hair, you're all sitting out, you're having fun. It's a parking lot barbecue. So again, we don't know the behind the scenes if they knew each other, if they didn't know each other. And the reason why I didn't pay everybody individually, the interaction that you see looked longer than what it was. It was really only like a five minute interaction. But then at five minutes, 30 to 40 people pulled up. They was pulling up in droves. That parking lot was getting deep, fast. And for me and my family safety in general, I don't never carry cash around. And nine times out of 10, if we tip, we always do it through the POS system. And even if we wanted to do it a different way, Zelle and Apple Pay wasn't an option because it was four or five people at the same time on live. So for safety reasons, they wouldn't be able to say their phone numbers or their personal information out loud. And as far as them taking my phone and putting their number in on Zelle themselves, I wouldn't hand my personal phone to nobody. So the POS system was the option that made the most sense. I've learned through this journey that sometimes it's deeper than the food, it's deeper than the marketing, it's deeper than the customer service. And this is one of those cases in my opinion. Sweetly Season got a lot to figure out and I thank God in advance that they do figure it out. The last thing I'm gonna touch on is the sun is misconstruing something that I said and I don't appreciate it. After I said out loud in detail what we deemed the money to be used towards, I also said y'all can divvy it out how y'all feel necessary. Meaning after the money hits because it's a POS system, it don't hit the same day. Y'all can send it out through Apple Pay, through Zelle, through Cash App, through Check, through Cash, however y'all y'all feel necessary to spread it amongst the team. I thought and I still think that that's a very clear statement, but it's being misconstrued in my opinion, intentionally misconstrued that I said and the mom and the son can say who get the money and who don't get the money. <laughs> so Keith Lee did tell her to distribute the money how she felt necessary. I never said that. Regardless of what was going on behind the scenes, I felt on my heart to do what we did. So for the mom to go on the back end and disregard where my heart was at and what I felt like God was telling me to do in that moment and distribute the money how she felt necessary is 100% wrong in my opinion. I see the memes and I see the jokes, but I am not in the business of shutting businesses down. Her actions did not sit right with y'all and her customer base. That resulted in the situation that she in today. We just ate the food and left a tip. I pray in advance that everybody in the situation stays safe. That's my biggest concern. Thank you. I appreciate y'all. God bless you. Have an amazing day. I'll be safe. Well, I guess we ain't crazy, folks. I mean, everyone pretty much is on the same page. I didn't really see. It, it, it probably was 1% of people who weren't on the same page. And I don't know. Y'all probably cut from the same cloth that, that that lady from. But um, that's what Keith Lee said, X, Y, and Z. But um, early in the day, early in this day, this is what the son was saying on this page. All right, y'all. God is good. We down here. I know a lot of y'all was concerned about the Keith Lee situation with the money, so me and Sherelle talked about it. I told her I want to give her $1,000 and mend our friendship. I don't feel like it's worth $1,000. I truly don't, but I have no clue how she's going to handle the situation. Is she going to choose the clout or the money? If it's really about our money, she wants to save our friendship because I did nothing to her. I don't deserve to lose a friend over trying to mediate a situation that happened over a misunderstanding. So if she doesn't want to delete the videos, take the money, mend our friendship, then it is what it is. I can't, you know, make her do that. But we got people we got to serve. We got food we got to get out here. So if she can come down and pick up the money, she can do so. She wants to stay on the internet and ask for donations from you guys. 
She's free to do so. I can't control anybody else. I can just control me and what God has for me. So, that being said, y'all come down, get some fried ribs. We're here waiting on you. If you don't, you be blessed and you have a lovely day. Okay, so um, I know the girl Sherelle. I'm pretty sure she heard what the son had to say. And she also responds to what Keith Lee had to say. And this kind of answers the question about that friendship. To be honest, there's not much to talk about. But there are a few conflated and confused things that's going around about the situation. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I did a stitch because I do not want to be paid for this. What did I tell you? What did I tell you? I interacted with that man. The conversation was longer than what y'all seen, but I know what he said to me. Keith Lee, I want to say thank you. I'm officially off this conversation. I'm not deleting any videos. I'm not taking back anything that I said. This friendship is officially over. Sweetly season, I wish you nothing but the best. I hope that your fan base grows, but just at your, at your own pace, off your own back. Appreciate you, Keith Lee. I enjoyed your family. Y'all be safe. I'm out. This man keep trying to say he ain't got nothing to do with it. Listen, this man was attacking this lady's parenting skills, calling her a scammer, saying so many different things. Everything this lady was doing was addressing the situation at hand in particular. Dude started to make digs at her character as a whole. Sure, you want to get on the internet and talk about my mom's mothering? How many kids do you have? How many kids have I met? How many kids have I ever heard you even speak about? It's about three missing. I don't, know, I don't know what's their names, what they look like, where they at. You don't talk about them. You can't talk about nobody's mothering. That, my good people, is what we call deflecting. He was deflecting from the situation at hand. And yeah, we see greedy people, man, greedy people. So we're going to see. Maybe God may give these people more of a chance in the future. But as of right now, they fumbled that Keith Lee effect. And it is what it is. We ain't crazy, people. We ain't crazy. Everybody was on was on cold on this one right here. But y'all got to let me know what y'all think in the comment section below. I'm going to go ahead and get up out of here, though. This is another update with Stace. Yo. What's up, y'all? I bet you're wondering how we got here. Well, let me tell you. So a lot of y'all know yesterday I got to meet Keith Lee. Great. Congratulations. I'm still humbled by the experience. Like, I am ecstatic. Blessings to your family. I really appreciate you. But now this is where the downfall comes in. A lot of y'all was on my live when he said this. I see y'all giving out haircuts. <laughs> <laughs> little brother, yeah. yeah. He wants to give a thousand dollars to the barber so he can cut he, everybody. Oh, that's food. my little brother. He wants to go pick up my baby brother from school. We want to leave you a thousand dollars. Since I'm here, we want to leave you two thousand dollars. And granted, everything was cool, right? Me being me and thinking everybody else is going to have the same genuine heart as me, I charged him $4,000 on his car, meaning all the money went to the food truck in hopes that she would do what she needed to do, right? Wrong. So after everything had died down, mind you, on top of him tipping $4,000, this man left an extra $886 to feed everybody else that was coming, right? Right, but this is where she went wrong. I'm in the truck, mind you, I'm a worker. This is your business, so I'm doing what you say. She tell me after this person, which is a third person, that you gotta start charging again. Hmm? Now it's one thing when he say I'm leaving this for free and for somebody to come and order like one of everything on the menu and try to get both desserts and drinks and shit. Like, yeah, you can put a limit on that. But if this man left you almost a thousand dollars, why the fuck did you stop handing free food out after the third person? Hmm? Make it make sense. So, all right, everything was cool. It was time to close down. You know, my friend done ran to the store. He helping his mom. He coming out of his pocket with his own money. And I looked at her and I was like, so Keith Lee literally just spent $5,200 with you. She was like, girl, I know I'm so excited. Like before I got on here, I was broke. And before y'all come for me talking about don't be releasing no personal information, it got personal when you play with my baby brother. So everything was cool, calm and collect, right? She told me, she said, look, I just want to let you know it'll be about a day or two before you guys get your money. I work with Square. I've been running my business for the past four years with Square, so I know exactly how it works. But if you've been running this business for years, your money going to clear the next day, correct? So this morning we got up. Mind you, I'm thinking I got to go back to help her because yesterday you ain't have nobody that wanted to work for you. You get what I'm saying? So my friend had me come and help you, and then my brother was really only out there, but you somehow trying to make it seem like, my brother was giving free haircuts when he was posting flyers with his prices on them. Come on. So then I wake up today. People hit me up talking about, we want to make your menus. We want to make your flyers. Da, 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 da. My main thing was, I'm not the face of this company. You get what I'm saying? I'm not the face of this company, but I can put you in contact. If you go through my comment section, 
you will definitely see where I'm tagging her business over and over and over because people thought it was my shit. So I hit her this morning and was like, Kim, you have workers today? Also, there's a guy who's wanted to do your menu and flyers for you, so I'm sending him your number. Who is this? Sherelle. Yes, I have workers for today and you can send me his info. Thank you. That was it. So I respond back. I will send you his Instagram and did you see if your money cleared? You can keep the money that was left for me, but my brother is preparing to leave and go back home and I'm unsure how he'll get it once he leaves. Granted, all I had to do was send it to her or she could have sent it to him, whatever. She said, please call me back so an agreement can be made. But before we even got to those messages, she called me and she was just like, well, I didn't invite your brother to come out there and cut hair. I didn't invite you. My son invited you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give a thousand dollars to my son and he'll give y'all whatever it is he see fit out of there. Hold on, ma'am. Hold on. Now, I did you a solid by saying I get money. When I opened my eyes this morning, I had a deposit for fifteen hundred dollars. You get what I'm saying? And I made money since. So I, I told you to keep my money. But I was more so pressed about the issue of my brother. Keith Lee don't know my brother. My brother don't know Keith Lee. My brother don't know any of y'all out here. But when you gave him the green light to post his flyers, after he cut both of your son's head, yes, they paid. He wasn't cutting nobody's hair for free. Who the fuck put that out there? If you cut it hair for free, why are you posting flyers with prices? You get what I'm saying? There's a girl on Facebook, hold on, whom I'm assuming is her oldest son's wife, fiance, whoever she is, this is all lies, just like the free cuts were, because people had to pay. Of course they had to pay. The two people here that he cut was both of the owner's sons. So why the fuck would he be giving the owner's sons, whose mom is getting visited by Keith Lee, free cuts? You get what I'm saying? Because it was never advertised. But then I later found out my friend had said he assumed that he was giving free cuts. No, he pulled up to the area because he saw it as an opportunity because we couldn't make it to Jonathan's shop to meet him in time. No one. Y'all didn't hear it on my face. Y'all didn't see it on my platform. Y'all didn't hear it on my brother's mouth say, I'm giving free cuts, pull up to the spot. Do you know how many people would have pulled up? Keith Lee probably was under the assumption. Hell yeah, he didn't even say it. Let's be honest. Keith Lee didn't even say it. Oh, I'm giving you $1,000 because he said, I'm giving you $1,000 so you can go and get free haircut. But bitch, we couldn't even make it out there to get free haircuts because you tripping over $2,000. Now the principle of the matter is because I know several of y'all out there thinking like, bro, it's just $1,000, bro. Like, don't you got more money than that? Don't TikTok pay you? Da -da -da -da. TikTok pays me well. YouTube pays me well. Both of my Facebook pages pays me well outside of whatever it is that I do in my real life. You get what I'm saying? The principle of the matter is my brother is from Louisiana. My brother is a self-taught barber. He went and got his license just so he can work in a shop. And when he come out here and he posting up with all of his shit outside and he's saying, yo, I'm selling haircuts. Your sons come down and they sit in there and you going to sit there and have a nerve to tell me Keep Lee don't understand. Y'all not even a part of the brand. So I don't feel inclined to give you the money. Bitch, fuck you. Fuck you, bro. Like, I'm not even playing when it comes to this shit, bro. I'm big on integrity. I'm big on doing what's right. I came out there and I helped you for free. I stood in that little bitty ass, hot ass motherfucking food truck to help you because my friend asked me to. And this is the thanks that I get? I couldn't even get a thank you from you at the end of the day, bro. Like, come on. The man walked up and literally said, I seen your life. I seen this live. The wife even said, hey, Sherelle, let me see that cheer. W was nobody on the live? Like, come on. Well, I know y'all was on the live, but come on, bro. You got your kids in the background fighting for you. Like, it ain't even your kids. It's that one lady who didn't even want to get in a food truck with you in the first place. That's how I ended up there. If your kids really gave a fuck, I would have been at home in my bed. I would have been at home in my bed. Keith Lee would have never seen me type shit. I would have still popped out. I ain't even gonna lie, because my friend would have told me. But that's besides the point. The sole purpose of this was so you could get the exposure. You get what I'm saying? You wanted the Keith Lee effect. And we did our part to make sure that could happen. And I can't even say to make sure, to, 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 to kind of hope and pray that it would happen and it did. You know what I'm saying? I'm screenshotting what Keith Lee put on here. Oh yeah, and beforehand, that was the email I sent to him today because I, I was serious about my integrity. I was serious about the principle of the matter. If this man came all the way out here and he blessed your motherfucking business with his presence and to say, this shit was good as a motherfucker, then the least you can do is get out of the way of somebody else's blessings and honor it after I already told you, you can keep my band. Who the fuck running around here saying, I don't want that $1,000, you can have it. Who's doing that? 
I can't even work for you for free? For free? But today, all of a sudden, you wake up, you got workers. I wanted to leave you $1,000 for doing braids. Wanted to leave $1,000 to the barber so he can cut everybody's hair for free. By the time Keith Lee left, your motherfucking ass closed the shop down. So the goal was for him to return today, right? But you look my brother dead in his eyes last night when he came to spend money at your establishment and told him, you missed your blessing, but I got the money that Keith Lee gave you. I'm going to give it to you when my money clears. But today you wake up and you sing in a different tune. And we want to tip you $2,000. So at what point of it do you feel like you can play God and step in the way and say, oh, I'm going to block this blessing from this young black man who's trying and do what I want to do? And you think your shit going to prosper? Baby, I'm going to make it my personal mission to see that nobody will see Sweetly Seasoned. You hear me? I don't care if I got to post up on every block that you own and make protest videos. You do understand that a lot of these people wanted to come out and see my face. Do you hear it in the live? Is that true? Is that true? You get what I'm saying? I am the clout, bro. I'm the clout. And I'm pissed off and I'm really agitated at the fact that your motherfucking ass sat there two days ago and said how your family treated you, how this person, that person, and that person treated you. And I don't know you from a can of motherfucking paint. And I got up on my bed and I came to help you. And this is the thanks I get. Bitch, I ain't even get a real fucking thank you. And with all due respect, Keith Lee, I did not want to bring you into this shit, but you did your part, so now I got to do mine. The S effect is in full effect, and I'm on your ass. For sure. I am just a person who's trying to make it every day. I want to give a shout out to my son for marketing me. Um, I don't know how many of you guys follow him, but because of him, that is the reason why Keith Lee came to visit me. Now, when I arrived that day, the only reason why Sherelle was there, and I don't know her that well. I don't know her that well. The only reason why she was there is because my son asked her to be there, I guess. I don't know. And then she said that she wanted to meet Keith Lee, so she just wanted to be there. So it wasn't that she was working for me. She really just wanted to be there for Keith Lee. Um, but I want to give a shout out to her anyway, you know, because her and my son. Okay, they went on Facebook Live, Instagram. I don't know what platform it was. And they were marketing me, trying to get him out there to see me. So I still want to thank her for doing that. And yes, she do deserve to be compensated for that. But she will not even talk to me about that. You know? Um, now, getting to the nitty gritty. So we all out there. And my son called this guy. I guess that's her brother. I didn't know him. Never seen him. To come cut his hair. And he came out there to cut his hair. He plugged his thing into my generator. And he cut his hair. I'm in a food truck. I'm going crazy because I know he's coming. And I'm trying to get... So I'm not fully aware of what's going on outside, y'all. So, next thing I know, I see a girl running... And Sherelle running, they can hug. And I'm like, who, you know, who is that? Come find out. She was supposed to have been braiding no girl hair. But she told her to come out there because she didn't want to miss Keith Lee. So when Keith Lee did arrive, it looked as if they were with me. And All I know is I built this business from the ground up. Me and my son. And for her to even think, because she called somebody out there just to braid her hair, that she deserved a thousand dollars and try to make it seem like. Now I could see if when Keith Lee said, "Give that barber a thousand dollars for free haircuts," he should have said, "Anybody, come on, who wants their haircut for free? Come on!" Then he would have deserved it. Then that would have made him with me. Because now you're helping me. You're shining on me. This man was not with me. He was only solely there. 
Because my son called him to cut my hair. Now, I would love to do the right thing. And I feel like I did do the right thing. Now, for her, and then I told her, on top of that, I didn't even have the money. He paid with a credit card. The money just hit the bank account today. I'm going to give my son what he deserves. And I would give her some what she, because she did market me that morning, but that's all she did. And he, I don't even know who he is. The barber, that's my son's head. He wasn't with me. Keep Lee, I heard he thought that they were my kids. They're not my kids. Th- those were my son friends. But this ain't even about money, y'all. This is about the principle. How dare you? Come and make it seem like this was something that it wasn't. You were supposed to be out there to support Sweetly Season. A struggling business. And then you turn around and make it seem like it was something that it wasn't. I dare you. I dare you. And yeah, for everybody, I'm just, I'm getting emotional because y'all have no idea how much work and effort I put into my business. And I don't know if this is going to make me or break me. I don't know, but I know I got God. And God is the one that told me to go to school. And go to school again. I've been flourishing ever since. I have won chef awards. I have done a lot of things. And I have a lot of upcoming things that I plan on doing. I don't think I'm wrong. I don't think I'm wrong. And if I'm wrong, I won't keep Lee. To tell me, after him knowing the truth now, if that man tell me to give them the money, I'll give it to him. 